Good morning, did you have a good rest? It was dark, so I can't be sure, but I think the little old man you came with slept in his wagon outside the town gates last night. Anyway, have a safe trip. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, now that we're in the inn, we're also gonna loot this stuff. Gonna go and destroy this and that. Why the hell not? So let's go ahead up here and see what's going on. Hello. How could anyone be so spiteful? He said I'll never see it again, my precious ring. And then do you know what he says? He said that even if I did find it again, he wouldn't ever yeah, he wouldn't go over my fat finger. Never dreamt of a fortune teller could be so shameless. Well he won't be getting any more of my business, I can assure you. True that. Under books a bit of be particularly intellect. I can't talk today, can I? Anyway, this maid essentially okay, let's talk to her. Welcome to the weary wanderer, Fabery's old is then. I am here to make your travels more comfortable and explain a few things. Any seasoned traveller would know it already, of course, but you've only just set out. It might be useful. Would you like to hear it, Draw? Sure. X is a really useful button that lets you do all sorts of things, like chat to people and pick up or examine objects. You can examine everything in this room just by using that one button. The wardrobes, sacks on the walls, the treasure chest, the bookshelves, everything! Feel free to take anything you like. It's all there for all the customers. Use square if you want to look at the map. It's always useful when you're traveling to new towns and villages to have a look at what the uh, look at the map when you arrive just to get your bearings. Oh, and pressing R2 allows you to look at uh, look at things through your own eyes. Just press it again and switch back to normal. It's really useful when you want to examine things that are very close to you, or if you want to look down at the ground or up in the, the sky. And uh, that's about everything I can tell you, I think. There's a lot more to learn, but I'm sure you're working out for yourself along the way. Don't forget that really useful button I told you about at the beginning, and enjoy your travels. Thank you, maid! Look, see, we can look at this polygon shield! I'm looking at your face! Alright, oh, God, you look scared as hell! Hi! Hi! Uh, okay, that's that's uh, essentially what it is. Okay, I can't examine this shield, you lied to me, you bastard! <laughs> anyway, let's, let's go ahead and open this. Vial of holy water. Which uh, wades off lower level creatures. Plain clothes. A chest. Chimera wing. That uh, sends you back to town. It's a quarterly journal called King of Adventure. Getting ready to head out on your first exciting journey into this wonderful world of ours. Here's a tip for all you novice explorers. On your travels, always keep an eye out for treasure chests in unexpected places. Who left them there? Who cares? It's fine, it's keepers in the wild world of adventuring. Think of them as divine gifts from the great goddess. Placed there just for you. In any event, you'll find plenty of interest in looting treasure chests, so keep your senses sharp and your eyes peeled. Very useful bit of information right there. Find a cypress stick. What's a cypress stick? I didn't even know, catch that. Oh, you're the ones who came looking for Master Rylus, aren't you? Yep. It was a strange one there, Rylus, right up to the end. I mean, talk about a strange way to go. I'm convinced somebody bumped him off. Oops, I never said that. I always managed to put my foot in it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't stop it. Pulling things out like that. <laughs> Alright, now we would put our hand in some sacks. What's that antidote of? No, not the same sack! Alright. Medicinal herb. Beautiful. Alright, so now that we've got a couple herbs, I'm gonna give a couple to Yangus to carry. Alright, there's one. There's two. And uh, for now I'll give him well I'll give him one more, so that's fair, I guess. Alrighty then, there's that. Well that's good end. And uh, actually leave this uh, the inn so we can adventure. Um, what I'm gonna do first is level up a bit. Um, I usually level up until I get enough money to purchase a boomerang. Um, that way I can attack all enemies on the screen, essentially with a boomerang. Now I'm not gonna invest in the boomerang, uh, because I personally do not like the skills. I can see why you would, but um, I'm not gonna do that. Medina and I will be right behind you. If you have any trouble, feel free to consult us. I'm sure there's nothing we can't solve. We put our heads together. Anyway, we go. Oh, away we go, rather. When HP and MP run low, you may take damage when battling monsters. Such damage reduces your HP. When you cast spells, your MP will be reduced. When your HP or MP run low, return to town and rest at the inn. 
insane. Your HP and MP will be fully restored. Alright, so here we are in the wide world of, uh, wherever we are. But, uh, anyway, I'm just going to take a little break real quick, and I'll be right back. So, well, you won't even notice. We're back. Alright, we're back. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is go out this way. And uh, there should be a chest over here on the far right. But uh, as I said, um, I would like to get gold first. Oh, great. I'd like to get gold first and uh, see if I can afford the boomerang. Because uh, it's very useful. It's useful even in the next area. Now, boomerangs are useful for whack. They have the ability to um, hit everything on screen. Which uh, which is great. Going from left to right, left being the strongest hit, the right being the, the weakest hit. As uh, when damage gets less as each hit, essentially. I hate these bunny coins so much. Oh my god. I might have to use a health potion already. On the plus side, they give some decent experience. So, uh, so it's okay. I can't remember how much gold they exactly give. It may be four each one. Oh, that's a critical hit right there. That's pretty good. Alright, keep going. I am gonna die. Apparently. I am also nearly dead, but I'm not gonna use one because it's nearly dead. Oh, I thought I was dead then. I was like, you son of a... But, uh, but no, I'll just use a health potion when I get out of it. 20 experience. Alright, so I gotta level up. Alright. Maximum HP increased by 3. Tributes. Strength is damage. Agility is speed. Wisdom is magical damage. And resilience is... I believe it adds to your armor. Oh, Yang is leveled up too. Maximum HP by 2. Strength, resilience. Alright. 20 gold. Alright, so for the people who are wondering, um, the hero is stereotypically a type of su kind of support. Um, you can make them into several different um, things. I think in this, I'm going to make them a jack of all trades, essentially. So, they're going to have decent single target attack, decent AoE, and also decent support if they need it. They have average speed. Um, Yangus is slower than, uh, than the hero. Um, he has higher physical damage by default, and he also has more resilience by default. So, technically, Yangus should go first. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to do that because I like running around as the hero, and it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. But, um, Yangus is going to focus on debuffing, uh, I guess, or part of him is going to be debuffing, as well as uh, a damage. So that's what he's going to focus on. So uh, there's that. Anyway, as I said, we got to keep going to find this chest on the far right of February. February, February, February. Yeah, yeah, you get the idea. The town we were just in. All right. See, you can see the chest over there, and uh, you also see a special type of monster in the game. And uh, hopefully, I'm not going to anger him, because if I anger that guy, then, yeah, then it's not going to go well for me. Oh, one solitary bunny corn, alright. One important thing to note in this game is that uh, if you get into a fight, time stops completely. So if anything surrounds you... They're not going to get any closer just because you're in a battle. They're not going to join a battle. Nothing like that's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, even still, I don't want you to see me. Well, I don't think you do see me. Do you see me? I, I don't even want to stop. I just want the chest. Oh! God damn it. All right. No, he hasn't seen me. Oh, well, he did see me, but he ran over there. Now we have a creature in the world. It's a dinosaur with an axe. Not very nice, is it? Right, what did we get for that? Oh, did we just get an ant? Oh, we got a seed of life. Now, you have seeds of different things, so you can permanently increase the maximum health of a single ally with a uh, seed of life. You have ones of strength, magic, resilience. You know, I don't think it's actually called... Resilience. Or does resilience give health? I really can't remember what they do. You think I would know, wouldn't you? Um, it's in the book. Resilience either adds armor or it adds health. It's one of the two. Uh, wisdom. That was it. Wisdom increases your magical damage, I believe, or it increases your health. No, not your health. Your mana pool. I really can't remember. But here's the basic stats of uh, other characters. So you know, Yangus by default has more attack. Um, his strengths are a lot higher, and uh, he has more defense naturally. Here it also shows you the uh, the different skill groups they have. So the heroes do swords, spears, boomerangs, fisticuffs, courage, 
Yangus, Axes, Clubs, Scythes, Fisticuffs, Humanity. With the hero, I'm going to go down Spears and Courage mainly. Um, if I finish that, I'm going to go into Swords. I'm also going to be putting points into Fisticuffs earlier on to get a specific ability. Yangus, I'm going to put um, a couple points into Humanity to start off to get some support skills. Um, put a bit, a tiny bit into Axes to get a one skill for debuffing. Then I'm going to put the rest into Scythes and then Humanity. That's the way I'm going to do it. Okay. Alright, let's go past the Dinosaur with... Okay, maybe not. We're going to go fight some Slimes. So, first I want to kiss... I want to kiss. I want to kick the... Do, to kick the lips. What? Alright, I want to get rid of you because this guy can actually poison you. I believe he can also send you to sleep. I'm not too sure. I might be wrong about that. And also, he does the most damage. Uh, I need to call them lips again, but uh, smiles, slimes do... Uh, I kind of want to call them smiles. One of the characters is called smiles. Or one of these unique ones of this version, anyway, called smiles. Right, there we go. See? No, no damage. Well, he missed, so, you know, it's fair. Alright, so let's finish off the slime. No, two damage! It's only in a Dragon Quest or Warrior game where you can find you getting attacked by balls of jelly. Jelly, water, I forgot what they are. I think it's water. I'm not too sure, but it's a water blob with a face. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm a ninja. You don't see me. Nope. No sorry, Bob. You, you don't kill. You don't, well, I don't want you to kill me anyway, but... Alright, Candy Cats. These guys can, if I remember correctly, they can, well, they lick you, of course, but, um, they, stop washing your face, um, I believe they can, I can't remember what it is, I think, I don't know if it's a stun, either way, it makes you, it makes you not attack for one turn, it might be a stun, I think it's like you're disgusted or something, but you end up, like, stunned or flinched or something. It's the, it's the same way uh, if you played a Pokemon RPG and someone uses Lick. It's kind of like that where you can flinch for a turn. It's not technically called flinching in, in this game, but it's the same effect. Now, we can explore up here, which I think I might do because I can't remember what is exactly up there. Satires can make you paralyzed and sleep. Yeah, like you just made Yangus fall asleep. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned the whole sleeping fiasco. Well, now he's awake. I think putting a horn to my face would also make me wake up. Stop hitting me already, will you? Ow! This doesn't look good at all, does it? Alright, there we go. There's one of them. Alright, now we need to use some tactical awareness. So for me, since I move faster, I am going to use a herb on Yangus, and Yangus is going to attack. Hopefully they don't kill Yangus. I don't think they can kill him unless they do a critical hit. Besides, they attacked me, so we don't all that bad. Alright, Yangus knocked down that guy, and I should heal Yangus now. That kind of failed for me. I'm faster than Yangus, but he went first. Makes no sense. Alright, anyway, let's just attack. They should kill the satire. Oh, you stop hitting me, please. Needless to say, as you go out through the game, you will uh, get more spells, get more skills, get more money. Um, this is that stuff. Maximum HP increased by 5. I mean, uh, MP increased by 5. Alright, there we go. I learned the spell heal. Beautiful. So now we can heal. I think we just get 5 mana? Oh yeah, because it said 12 gold coins. Beautiful. So we're not going to be as reliant on much on... Um, Medicinal herbs, that's, that's what I was thinking of. But we still got a lot left, and we still have a um, Chimera Wing, so we can still go back to town. That's the Chimera Wing, by the way. It allows you to warp instantly to a selected place you have previously visited. All right, so let's get out of that menu real quick. And uh, let's keep going on. We'll uh, travel a bit more, um, and then we'll go back to town, recover health. How much money do I have? I need 420 to get the, um, the boomerang. Yangus is fine with the weapon he currently has. Plain clothes, I believe, can be sold for 15. And to do herbs, I'm going to sell them. I don't know how much holy water sells for, but it's maybe 30. I can't remember, but anyway, the rate at which you buy items is, is fairly slow. 
Um, that doesn't mean... Actually, what does it mean? It just means that the cost of items isn't that much. Um, the cost of going to the inn isn't that much. You could get the money to um, pay for the inn for the night uh, in one battle, uh, essentially. So. It's also important to note that whenever a character dies, you go to the church and you resurrect them via the church. There we go, that's, that's an example of the lick I was talking about. So uh, yeah, the, the church is the only place you can bring people back from the dead and you have to pay money for it. I believe it's 10% of their level. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Well, it's gotta be more than that, because if Yangus died now... I can't remember, I, no, it might be half their level. I don't know. I, I, I really can't remember what it was. But you have to pay to, get, to resurrect them. Um, you can do numerous things at the church. You can um, look for divination, I believe, and it gives you how much XP you need to level up for every character, which is nice. Um, there is some other things where you can cure poison if you don't have anything like antidote herbs or anything like that. Um, cures curses, um, which is a special status ailment you get in the game. Oh, this was this is where we were earlier, so let's not go in here. They do, they do a lot of things. Um, some of them you have to pay for if it's like removing curses, removing poison, removing, you know, well, you don't remove death, but you, you know, you, well, you can't cure death either. You just, you know, revive people that cost money. So, yeah. More satires. Hello, you horned devils. Eventually, these guys become pretty weak, so you don't have to deal with them. But uh, it, it, they're, you know, might as well do it now rather than later. Technically, I could just spend about four hours. Well, not four hours, because that'd be pretty overkill. You could spend about an hour doing this. Set of wayfarers. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, that just made my money a lot more. That didn't make any sense, but uh, it basically removed some cost. So I was going to have to buy this at some point as well. Yep, equip that. So now I can get rid of... Um, one? I can tell I could get rid of two, three or all of them if I wanted, but, you know, at least one I can get rid of. I want to hold on to two sets of plain clothes. Well, really, do I? I can't remember if I wanted to or not. You cannot use the map in the, the world. Um, because I don't have a world map, so I can't. All right. Alright, so we have a new enemy, and he does a lot of damage, but so do the bunny corns. I'll get rid of the bunny corns first. The slime, I'm leaving him alone. Right, it's 84 damage. Do 7 on him. I like the lighting effects on this, like the actual flame in the corner adds to, you know, the lighting effects of everyone else. You see there's like a orange tinge or like a glow to both of the bunnies. Oh my god. Suddenly in these types of games we actually say that. Oh my god, getting attacked by bunny rabbits with uh, unicorn horns on the head. Seems fairly legit, to be honest. Will you stop attacking me, slime? You're not really doing much. You only give like one XP and one gold as well. So that guy can do like one magic attack at does seven damage, but he's really resistant to melee. As you can see, I only did three damage instead of. Five, seven, is it normally? And an attack, and an attack. Melee attack, he doesn't do a lot. He shouldn't be able to do the frizz again. Was it frizz? I can't remember, because the names of these spells are different. Frizz. Yeah, he's out of mana, so he can't do it. The enemy do that a lot, like they try and cast spells they can't do, which is interesting. There's one type of enemy which cast, tries to cast high level spells, but can't. <laughs> so, it's kind of funny to see it happening. Right, enemies are defeated. 16 experience, 15 gold. Beautiful. Alright. So, there is another one of those enemies. And he will probably whoop my butt, so I'm not going to go over there. Well, I will go over there, but I'm not going to fight him. If you kill one of these enemies, they drop a special coin, which you can sell for a lot. Actually, I may be able to fight him. Probably not now. Now we're getting attacked by peppers, which uh, which is great. 